Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome to day one of my Christmas whiskey advent calendar. And if some of you are thinking, Jason, it's not day one, it's like day 21, that's because I was away in Taiwan. If you follow me on social media, I'll leave them over here. I was in Taiwan. Uh, I went to Cavalan's Distillery, some whiskey bars, just to check out the sites, be a tourist. It was absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna have a few videos, well, actually seven or so, after Christmas uh, to show you how my trip was in Taiwan. Now, I managed to get my hands on one of these. It's a Christmas whiskey advent calendar designed by Drinks by the Dram and sold by Master of Malt and I think also Amazon. If you haven't got one of these, still not too late. I think they do next day delivery if you're lucky. So I got this on the day I was flying out. As soon as my taxi came to my house, literally, I got the order coming through and I'd sign it and I was like, really? I'm going to the airport. Um, but I really wanted to do the review. So I'm going to be uploading one video every maybe hour tomorrow. Um, and then the next day we'll have the same sort of thing. So we'll catch up with all the videos and they're going to not want to be full reviews. They're going to be like short, uh, sort of like quick reviews. Now and also, in terms of if you missed my Christmas whiskey video, I'll leave that link just up here. It's my top 10 Christmas whiskeys, which I highly recommend you go and check out if you're looking for gift ideas or maybe even really nice rich whiskeys for yourself this Christmas. And also, ooh, I forgot what I was gonna say. And also, I'm gonna leave all my videos where I've actually done the full reviews for these products, so the actual full length reviews, I'll leave them also linked here every video. So that way, if, if you do miss, or if you want to see a longer review, that I've taken more time and in-depth looked at, then you can go and check out those videos. Now, without further ado, let's get into this, as I've pretty much not opened one, an advent calendar for maybe four years, in my last four years of my life, so this is going to be quite interesting. Box number one is, or door number one is over here, so we've got to figure out how to open. I got there eventually. That was, that was like literally playing that game operation. I just couldn't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. That's door number one. Done. And the dram, which is wedged in there quite well. So behind door number one. Whoa, we're starting off big. Behind door number one, we have the Glen Farkless 25 year old bottle at 43%, which you'll probably see up on the screen. This one I know is an absolute monster and I'm going to be reviewing the Glen Farkless range on the channel very soon because I've picked up all their bottles and if you've all seen my top 10 Christmas whiskies, the 105 and the 15 are absolutely incredible. So we're going to pour ourselves a little bit of this and uh, we're going to do the review into the 25 year old. So I believe it's all natural color, non chill filtered as Glen Farkless I believe still is a family run distillery located in the space side region. Well, actually, let me do my review style structure to begin. So this one over here is a 25 year old whiskey. It is bottled at 43% ABV. The actual distillery is the Glen Farkless Distillery, which you can see over there. They are located in the space side region of Scotland. And I believe they're also still family run. So you can actually see some of the family members that do the ambassadorial roles and still take people around the distillery, which I think is absolutely superb. Now, in terms of actually the price on this one, I think Amazon had it recently, if memory serves me well, was around about 110 pounds or 118. So compared to many 25 year olds in the market, uh, the price on this one is effectively half compared because most 25 year olds are around about 250. This one is around about 120, I'd say. So really good value for money on that one. Now in terms of exclusivity, it's not exclusive. However, I don't feel they produce it in such super large quantities as it does take 25 years. And in terms of caramel color, well, I think that's all naturally colored. So let's get into the nosing of this one. So to begin on the Glen Farkless 25 on the nose, this one's got a very interesting character. It's much more complex than its younger siblings, like the 15 year old, which is one of my favorites. This one, you still get that sort of nice green apple-y character. Okay, maybe a combination with red apples as well. Initially, I thought there was a sort of like a lemon citrusy character going through, but the longer you leave it, it sweetens out, becomes a bit softer, and it actually reminds me of lime. So nice lime juice, not too tarty on the nose. There is also a very faint hint of uh, sautéed raspberries. A little bit of summer fruits coming through. Some sherbet, and it reminds me of these little milk bottle sweets we used to get when I was younger, and those things are just so nice and soft and sweet on the nose. A little bit of honeysuckle. 
and a golden grassy sort of finish on the nose. Really interesting. Next, we move into the palette of this whiskey. The palette for the 25 is it has a kind of it begins with a light medium texture. It's not very heavy, not viscous. However, it does start off with those sort of apple-y characters reflecting over from the nose into the palate. Green apples, slightly tarty this time. You've got a combination of red apples as well, but a lot more of that green tarty apple is coming through. A little citrus character reflecting as well in terms of the oranges, um, but it's more like, say, spiced oranges, and you're really picking out a distinctive clove character, which has a slight bitter aspect on the palate. It does go into a spicier aspect the longer you leave it there. And this is like white pepper. Even a little bit of green cardamom that sort of refreshes it, but then you get the spice coming back through and a little bit of character from the clove. Really just, I don't know, it's kicking back on this one. And then it works its way a little bit into its like oaky, spicy character. And it sort of dries the mid to the back palate. Let's move into the finish of this whiskey. The finish for this whiskey has the sort of woody spices coming in now, and this is more like sandalwood. A little bit of cinnamon, and this is stick cinnamon. It does have a slight sherry character coming through, but it's not so intense. It's not like the sherry bomb whiskey. This is much more softer, more gentle, and that oaky character that I mentioned, the spiced oak, I feel that's a, uh, it's a contributing factor through because of its age. You can really feel it coming through. And it's quite sort of dries out the mid to the back palette. So leaves more or less on lines of a medium finish. So overall it's a really nice whiskey as a 25 and to begin the Christmas Advent calendar I think that is an absolute perfect way to start, especially with a 25 year old whiskey. So let me know your thoughts on the Glen Farkless 25. I'm not leaving a rating as this is just quickly like a quick hair but yeah let me know what you guys think. Merry Christmas guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Slanja.